Man, was this an awesome chapter. Probably one of my favorites in the series thus far, and <laughs> really, man, my respect level for Sasuke went up after this one. Naruto, number 27, Awakenings. Man, this is some powerful shit. Whew. Well, hello, my brothers and sisters of the Nerd Nation. I, as always, am Jim, here to bring you another review on the awesome and, and adventure and blood-soaked tale of Naruto. Our last chapter, as a matter of fact, the last few, it's, we've really kind of been mired in this, uh, well, I shouldn't say mired, but we've been balls deep or whatever in the midst of uh, the battle, the battle that's been raging on. Um, obviously, uh, Haku has uh, Sasuke and Naruto uh, trapped in that ice mirror uh, cool looking move thing that that he's got going on there and uh, and then Kakashi and um, and of course uh, uh, Zabuza uh, Zabuza <laughs> anyway uh, Zabuza we're going uh, you know we're, we're kind of going head to head over here now the last chapter really saw them you know starting to come and clash and uh, and at the end of the chapter we wound up seeing um, you know really it looks like Haku is now having some uh, a little bit I wouldn't say doubts but a little bit of admiration and respect for Sasuke's ability so that is how the chapter left off uh, and that's right where the chapter picks up and Haku's going and is like you know it's it's amazing it seems like you know he's actually even though he's wounded he's dodging all of my mortal you know my things that should mortally wound him and he's splitting his 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 you know concentration between me follow, studying my movements or following my movements that's what Haku's saying and and protecting his friend because Naruto uh, obviously <laughs> he's useful but he's kind of a wild card still you know <laughs> so uh so it's really kind of neat to do that and then Haku's like you know so then what winds up happening, it, 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 the bottom line is, is that, you know what, he's like, okay, go, go, Haku goes to plan this other attack or whatever, and uh, and it, it does not fool, and this has never happened to Haku before, but it does not fool Sasuke at all, and uh, it's really kind of neat because you wind up going and seeing Haku look into his eyes, and he's got the uh, the mirror wheel, the, the, the Sharingan eyes, and both of his eyes were like that, right? And, uh, and it was just really kind of cool to go and to see that, and to see that awakened within him, you know? And... um. You know, so Haku goes and makes mention of it, you know, in the Kekagen Kai and all that stuff and everything else, you know. And uh, and now I think Haku's actually, like, uh, actually a little bit fearful, you know what I mean? Because, like, nobody has ever been able to get through, you know, to pierce through my illusions and what have you, my smoke and mirrors, so to speak, in this attack that I have, right? So then Haku goes and is like, you know what, I'm not going to be able to, you're just going to, you're, you're just going to be able to eventually predict my movements. You're learning more and more every time I try to attack you. So winds up Haku kind of does a little inner monologue and is like, you know what though, I'll go for the weak link, which is Naruto, the friend, you know. So very cool, you know, for that portion of it. But then we go in, in the kind of middle of the chapter, it really focuses on, uh, on, on Zabuza and, uh, and Kakashi, and when we left them at the end of last chapter, we heard Sakura kind of, like, yell out, and this was right after we saw, like, kind of off-camera, so to speak, we knew that, uh, you know, Zabuza had said, too late, and we knew he swung his sword. Well, you're thinking maybe Sakura got, uh, you know, got hit, got injured, wherever the case is. It's not the case, she just screamed out because Kakashi was able to get in front of it in time, uh, but he wound up actually taking, you know, taking the blow from that sword and uh, and taking a, what would look to be a pretty pretty decent, you know, a decent-sized chunk out of him, a good good injury nonetheless, so you can only lose so much blood, you know what I mean, before you can't, you can't stand anymore, so... Nonetheless, though, um, you know, Zabuza, of course, is still kind of coming at him with the whole, you know, oh, you're slow and you're this and you're that, right? And Kakashi's like, yeah, you know what? You're right, but um, it's it's neat to go and see him because Sakura goes and she's like, as, as it seems like all hope is lost, Sakura winds up being the voice of reason and is like, Naruto and Sasuke aren't going to be defeated that easily. You know, you have to trust in them. And she kind of reinforces what Kakashi already should have been thinking anyway. And Kakashi's like, you know what, you're right. They're not just ordinary people anyway. You know, Naruto is obviously a wild card, but Sasuke has like just limitless ability and this and that. And then it winds up coming out and he actually tells Zabuza that he is actually, you know, he, he's actually uh, Sasuke Uchiha, um, and, and apparently this clan, and I didn't know this because, of course, I'm new to the series, apparently he's the last one uh, remaining of his clan, right? And uh, and this clan, obviously, and, and then, of course, you know, possessing uh, the abilities that he has, more or less, you know, you're awakening a sleeping giant is kind of what I got from it, you know what I mean? So even in the state that he's in right now, this dude's like next level advanced, you know what I mean? So your little boy Haku doesn't know what he's fucking with, you know? <laughs> so it is kind of neat, though, to see. And Zabuza is like, oh, well, even if they can match Haku's, you know, this and that. But whatever. It, it just, it was a neat way of going and, and coming out and kind of, you know, revealing uh, that about uh, about Sasuke. 
And uh, and I thought I thought it was very cool the way it was done. So then we go and get Kakashi, and Kakashi's like, you know what, Sakura, don't move at all, man. I'm gonna get down to business now, right? So he goes and he goes and steps out after Zabuza disappears again, and he's just like kind of calling him out now, right? And he's like, you really think I got as far as I did and went through all the things that I've been through by only utilizing the Sharingan Eye? Yeah, you got another thing coming, buddy. I used to belong to an assassin corps as well, my friend, and I'm going to go and show you some of my real ability now, you know? <laughs> so this is some next level dark art shit I'm going to go and show you, and this, that, that's what I took from it anyway, you know? And whether it's just an intimidation factor like Zabuza was trying to do with him in the last chapter, and now Kakashi's throwing that back at him or not, I don't know, but Kakashi, I think, man, I think this dude's got layers and layers and layers, man, you know? You're like an onion, you just keep peeling back them layers and finding more. Um, I really think there's a lot to him, and uh, and that's just kind of what I get from my brief foray into the world of Naruto. So the chapter, though, winds up uh, ending up right as they're about to kind of go in and go at it. And this is, man, this is the way the, 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 uh, the whole volume ends up and everything, too. Now, of course, we left back in the in the mirror trap over there. Uh, Haku was going to go and, and attack Naruto. And what you wind up seeing is, the way it's depicted is actually very cool. You wind up seeing, um, you, you see... Sasuke, like his his foot and his lower leg, he's standing like in like by Naruto, right? Naruto's kind of like had laid out, and they they get a bunch of these needles stuck in him and everything else. Those giant needles, and um, and, and got, both of them got him sticking out everywhere. But you don't see the entirety of of, of Sasuke. It's drawn very well. You don't see the entirety of Sasuke's body. But you go and you see Haku, uh, and it looks like like hunched over. Like maybe you're thinking, wow, that's cool. Sasuke was able to defeat you know Haku. Well, then you go and you wind up seeing this, man. And, I mean, it is just gut-wrenching. You wind up seeing the next page. And Sasuke actually went and, and obviously, you know, he knew that the trap was was laid and that, and that uh, Haku was coming for Naruto. He jumped in front and took the brunt of the attack without even thinking, without anything, man. Uh, you know, no no second no second thought, no, no, no hesitation, nothing on that. And I really like that because Sasuke... And Naruto have never really seen eye to eye. And there's even one point where Sasuke is explaining kind of like with his dying breath over here about how, you know, I pretty much hated you, you know. And then he goes and he says, ah, you know, and he kind of makes fun of me. He's like, Jesus, now don't be useless. Go and get this taken care of type of thing, you know. Uh, and then he's th and then he goes and makes it out like, uh, he says, oh, I was just, my body just moved to block it. But the way the whole thing was depicted to begin with was very cool because it made you think, at least me for a page or so, it made me think that, oh, Sasuke maybe actually was able to get, you know, get the better of Haku what it is is that Haku is actually like beside himself because he's going and he's seen uh the true sacrifice that uh that you know and then the shinobi ways and everything else that he's been taught he sees that Sasuke made the ultimate sacrifice for Naruto and that there was no hesitation there was no second thought he knew that it was a trap and it doesn't matter anyway he still went and stood in front of him and really took the bullet he bit the bullet he took one for the team um and, and like I said to say you're gonna do that and to actually do that are two different things because when it comes to life or death boy I tell you man I've been in some situations that were very harrowing and a lot of people that talk big and bad uh they don't walk big and bad you know they run really quickly and, uh, and people that you think that, you know, they're with you, they're your friend, they're your family, they got your back, ride or die, and all that bullshit, and they're the first ones sometimes to turn tail. So you really never know until you get into a situation that's very harrowing and could be life or death or possibly a life or death situation. But very cool the way the whole thing was depicted. And knowing that, even though it appears that Sasuke dies in here, there's obviously it, it can't be that, that he dies because I know that a lot of people talked about him being a fan favorite throughout the series, so something must happen. Don't spoil me on it, but something must happen, obviously. So that's the only thing that I'm kind of spoiled on is that I know there'd be more weight to this if if this was 10 years ago and I was reading it and I was waiting for the next chapter to come out. I'd really think that Sasuke uh, you know, had been, had been killed. And it was done very well, this whole thing. Then you also go and you find out afterwards from Sasuke, and I thought this was kind of cool, you know, um, he's like, uh, here he goes, he goes, uh, let's see here, um, blah, blah, blah. I swore I wouldn't die until I killed him, my older brother, thought the oath would save me, but, and uh, so I thought that was kind of cool too, because now knowing that he's the last one of this Uchiha clan, right, his brother, the person he swore to kill, maybe this was the person who 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 wound up. Uh, who that's the reason the tragedy befell. Because actually, they don't say that the whole clan was killed out. Kakashi just says that he's the last surviving person of that clan after the tragic happening. So 
whatever it was, maybe this maybe this brother of Sasuke wanted to bleed. I don't know at this point, you know. I just know that it was cool to get that little bit of a reveal, that little bit of a glimpse, you know. And then you kind of see him as he's going and he's dying. And it was really cool, too, because you even see um, from Haku, you know, just this kind of, uh, you know, this almost like a remorse. Like, hey, listen, you know, he really bit the bullet for his friend over there, and that's like a true shinobi and this and that. But then I love how the whole thing ends, man. Naruto, man, just raging like a mo. Look at that. Oh my god, he just looks so angry. I might have to draw that over there. He's just like, I'm gonna kill you. And I mean just double page spread. Oh, beautiful way to end the chapter. And that's the way that we end the volume, unfortunately. But that's alright though. I've got like 40 something more to dig into. So <laughs> luckily I got the next one. I'm gonna stop recording this moment. I'm gonna read it. It's gonna be so good. So my, my chapter question for you is, folks, obviously we know now, I know, you know, even people who are originally initially on the journey with me, I'm sure you've heard Sasuke is just kind of a mainstay within the series. But nonetheless, though, it to me it doesn't take anything away from his sacrifice. What are your thoughts on Sasuke and him just, like I said, just reacting, just reacting to sacrifice? Leave your answer to that question in the comments down below. Feel free to hit the thumbs up, the like button if you should think that I deserve it, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We look forward to catching all of you in the next fun nation. Do you like strong women who can probably whip your ass? Why don't you go over and follow me on the Twitter, Twitter, and Facebook as well.